Hello everyone. I hope that you are doing well and your families are doing well. This is just a quick video of my garden in pro uh, progress. I'm out here working this fine Saturday morning. Um, I just got through molting my flower box. Uh, there are two flower boxes and, um, and um, I'm going to tell you a few of the items that are in the flower boxes or as you could see there are some hosta um, there's a tulip that's I, I think i'm going to move that because it's not doing too well the other one in the front front has bloomed but this one has not and i'll also divide them as you can see there are several down there and some vinca vines some hookara that i did get on clearance for three dollars at walmart these are um, some impatience. Now on this side, it's not blooming too well. Hopefully, I think I do see a bloom coming in. So we shall see. Some impatient uh, and some caladium, more hookara, vinca vines. And then I have a fern that uh, didn't come back so well so I fertilized it and hopefully that will come out uh, pretty good and then I have the exact same thing on this side so that's what I've been doing this morning this is the side garden that's coming along pretty well and um, just trying to fill these spots in I need something right there that's what it's looking like so far Still got a lot of work to do because I've got to mulch it and I'm sure that it will turn out just fine. Here's a section of the garden that I'm also working on. I've got to figure out what else I'm going to put in here. Um, these are some dianthus that have bloomed. I cut the uh, old blooms off this morning and there is a verbena that I'm trying to bring back to life. Um, and both of these are purple. I wanted them to match this purple chair. And um, also we have a arrangement, a container arrangement here with some vinca and some petunia that's getting ready to bloom. Um, Creeping Jenny and I think that's Dichondra. I'm never good with names, um, so I apologize for that. And then we have some little garden art down there. So that's in this box. Here's the other flower box. These had um, or have the um, grandfather, I, uh, the grandfather bearded, the bearded irises, I'm sorry. Um, and they were purple, they were beautiful, um, but they have died down. And in the middle here, I have some jolt pink dianthus that I just planted. And then on the other side, there were the irises as well. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to plant down this section here. And I'm looking for some perennials so it won't be so much hard work trying to fill these boxes in. This is a hydrangea that I did get on uh, clearance. And I'm trying to determine if this is the right spot for it. The sun is on it now, but once it it's not really sunny in this area so it will it's wilted now but it'll perk back up shortly and then i've got some petunias and some impatience that i'm testing to see if uh, they will work in this area on the side of this arbor there are two um, hydrangeas limelight they were in the tree form I don't know how I'm, they are in tree form, but I don't know how I'm going to get these shaped back up without killing it. <laughs> so it's two of them on either side. And I can't wait for those to bloom. I've got to put some more bulbs inside of my chandelier here that uh, came out of one of my rooms in the house. I just painted it. And there are two more hydrangeas in this little sitting area that has to be cleaned out. 
I'm gonna do that sometimes today or tomorrow because I will show an entire tour soon. So those will be in that. These are getting ready to bloom as well. So I'm looking forward to that. Here's one bloom. And they're gonna be those big white just drooping down. I hope they don't break the vines, but those are going to be very pretty on either side. And here is the gorgeous hydrangea. This is the endless summer. Those blooms are gorgeous. We have a visitor here this morning that is having a ball, but they get so big and just, just gorgeous. I'm gonna make another flower arrangement out of the huge one soon. Here is another um, container arrangement. It's got some bell flowers, um, vinca, and of course I'm terrible at names, but this is going to be gorgeous on either side of these two chairs. So I'm still loving my space here. Um, I, on the side of this is my actual um, garden, vegetable garden. I didn't put too much in it this year. Just a few things. Um, those are some green pepper, green bell peppers. We've got some zucchini that's coming up really well. Looks like they're getting ready to get some flowers. There's one in there that does have a flower. And then these are some kale, along with some green beans that are growing up this trellis. And this is my chore that I'm working on this morning. I'm trying to make a flower bed, um, trying to design a little flower bed on this side. So I've got my gear out trying to dig up this ground and then I'm going to put some compost in. I think that'll be a nice look. And I think my last mulching chore for today is this side with ferns and um, hostas. I'm going to clear out this straw and replace it with some black mulch. And that's gonna be it for me today. Oh, I forgot, I did have on the side of these two chairs, the sitting area, I do have these azaleas that bloom beautifully and I trimmed them down. Um, I hope they will bloom again in the fall. That would really be pretty. But that is all that I have for my outdoor chores today and showing the progress of my garden and I'll bring you along just to show you what I've been doing. I hope that you all have a blessed Saturday and may the good Lord bless you all real good. Take care.